Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. Today, I am out here inside of the garden. Just want to show you all and just talk a little bit about what is going on here on the homestead today, guys. Now, not just today, but over the past week and past days, way back, it has been a lot of preparation been going on here on the homestead. Um, just pretty much getting a lot of things going on inside of the garden. Just getting it ready for spring. Because yes, spring will be here before you guys know it. And if y'all can see real quick, I am out here in short sleeve, guys. This weather has been so crazy. It's been up. It's been down, up, down. But nonetheless, we're going through it. We're making it through the weather <laughs> you know so to speak but um it is a lot of a lot of things going on here on the homestead uh some of the stuff that um we just have not uh been taking you guys behind the scenes and yes i want to apologize for that because i do like to show you guys step by step on a lot of the things that is going on inside of the garden because yes guys um what we are doing here is some things y'all can take from it and implement wherever you all may be um, but real quick we're going to stop right here on these raised beds if y'all can see these raised beds right here um, they all has been completed and so i want y'all to stay tuned for that because yes we do have some videos because i did promise you all that i am going to take you all along with us when we get ready to fill these raised bed and that video is coming pretty soon so keep an eye out for that right there so we're pretty much going to just go ahead and kind of walk and talk now if y'all can see back there in the background um, like i said there is uh, quite a bit of changes um, y'all can see some trees down right over there and trees down in the back back there now, if y'all remember, y'all been following us here on this channel. Y'all remember we did had, I uh, want to say about three cypress um, trees that was inside of the garden. One of them I had all the way back and two of them still had the, the canopy up on the trees. And so I went on up there, um, topped them off and worked my way down and cut them down to the ground, guys. Um, just so you know just to kind of clear up inside of the garden um, We're actually going to be opening up another planting space here in the garden as well guys and so um, Like I said, it's a lot been going on inside of the garden um, If you see that tree right there now what it is that we're trying to figure out now um, is how we go about getting them up out of here um, I didn't want to cut them too short I didn't really want to cut them up too much because guys those are um, cedar trees and so um, as far as building and all that different kind of stuff those uh, trees come in real handy and so I didn't want to make them too short um, at least uh, eight feet minimum but that one I might have to cut a hole inside of the fence just so we can go ahead and drag uh, that tree out of here um, well trees out of here because it is quite a bit of them that we have here uh, cut down inside of the garden and they cannot stay inside of the garden right okay so um, we're just working our way back um, to the back just to kind of show you all what is going on pretty much so far um trust me it's been a lot of work going on here on the homestead and i just want to take you guys along with me to show y'all what is going on here okay so come on along so right here in this area right here guys um has been an area that just have not been worked inside of the garden and so we want to take you all along uh, with us um, establishing this area here now I think what I'm going to do with this area is probably make some more um, like you see right here some more no-till beds um, I think that's what I'm going to be 
uh, working on inside of this area right here is some more no-till bed now what I've been doing uh, I've been moving some dirt from inside of the garden I'm um, just working on some stuff to uh, make a walk space on some of those slopes that we have in the garden and so all the excess dirt we have been filling in this area because it is a lot of slope um, going on um, in this area right here okay and so pretty much um, that is it there is a little bit more cleaning that has to be done inside of this garden and just even speaking about cleaning guys like I said right now I am taking this time right now to start going ahead and preparing this garden um, whether it may be garden cleaning um, straightening up cleaning up that is what I'm taking this time to do right now because you all do see the magnitude of um, garden that I have here on this homestead and so if I can do the cleaning right now and the straightening up right now that is less work on me when spring gets here all I would have to come in and do is pretty much cultivate um, make my rows and do what it is that I need to do so um, it won't be so hectic um, in the springtime okay so that's pretty much it like I said I have uh, these other cedar all the way back here and I'm telling you there are some real beautiful wood especially when I freshly cut them you can see that real nice red um, color inside of those wood but um, I got these ones right here right at about um, I want to say 11 feet uh, long but um, we're gonna see what we do I might cut the fence right here and bring my truck and drag them out that way um, that's probably what we'll go ahead and do with that but um, real quick what I want to go ahead and do is take you all on over here to the back side of the garden right here and just kind of let you all know uh, the plans for back there and what it is that we're doing so far all right okay. so stay tuned and so here I am on the back side of the garden and I just want you all to kind of see what has been going on here um, like I said just pretty much work 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 we're working here on the homestead guys um, so right here in this area right here um, uh, me and my son came on out this morning and we pretty much went ahead and clean up we're cleaning up back here um, what I'm going to be planting back here um, in this area now last year we had bought we had bought some muscadine or scopodyne uh, vines and <laughs> we were so busy guys and plus the spot where I was going to put them was not clean it was not ready for them so what I went ahead and did I put them in some pots because I did not want to lose those plants because they we, we pay a pretty good penny for them and so we didn't want to lose them and so put them in pots and so what I'm going to be doing is um, like I see I already have quite a bit of the spot here already cleaned up for them um, I'm, not, I'm not sure just as yet how long I am going to make the rows for those but I do want to bring you all along with me when I get ready to make uh, that trellis for them or the where I'm going the, the vine is going to be running do want to take you guys along with us on that so stay tuned stay tuned okay um, so I got this pile right here that I'm going to be getting ready to burn <laughs> in just a minute I'm going to burn this pile um, so uh, it is still quite a bit more space back here um, what I was actually planning on doing was trying to get some more space uh, back here where I can plant a little bit more corn okay because <laughs> Yes, we do want to plant some more corn plus man. I'm telling you there's uh, so much um, You know the most I just been given so much ideas so much uh, Things uh, you know what I need to do with this area right here, uh, but you know We're just taking it slow and just in due time as time goes on We will implement a lot of that stuff that we're going to be doing It's pretty much even with uh, planting corn because eventually what we're pushing for is pretty much self-sustainability here on the homestead. Even when it comes down to 
um, our animal feeds and all that different kind of stuff. We want to be able to grow all that here on property, all that, okay? Um, you know, but it takes time. It's no rush. Um, eventually, if we get there, we get there. Um, but, you know, we're going to have faith that we're going to get there. All right? But, guys, so that is pretty much it right here. I'm actually getting ready to uh, light this fire in just a moment. But so far, hey, man, I'm telling you, hey, the most size good he is awesome. Give the strength every day to come on out here and just chip at the bit just a little at a time, little at a time. Um, you know, getting my son out here, we working it and we just, you know, just, just taking care of what we can take care of um, on a daily basis, you know, on a daily basis. Um, so one more thing that I want to go ahead and pretty much talk about right now. So we are in grow zone 8A. And so we're getting ready to start our seeds. Um, mostly what we're going to be starting right now, um, as far as stuff that we're going to be planting out in the garden in the spring. Um, of course, you know, we're planting our brassicas and peppers, but we're going to be starting our peppers actually today. Um, we want to start our peppers today because those right there take right at about that eight weeks uh, to get ready to where that they'll be ready to come outside. But then again, I do kind of want to kind of, I wish I could have maybe hold off just a little bit on my peppers, but I'm still going to go ahead and start them. Um, I'm going to be starting enough to where that um, I can be able to get some out, some of the suckers on out there to you guys to where that y'all can plant in your garden and all that different kind of stuff. So it's still, it's okay for me if I start them right now. Um, but more so your peppers you want to start right now because those are going to take eight weeks uh, my brassicas i'm going to wait till my six week mark uh before i plant before i start starting my seeds on those because they do tend to grow a little bit faster under the grow light and even also with my tomatoes i don't want to start my tomatoes right now uh simple reason why because guys we're still getting frost we're still getting cold weather and they just they're gonna be too big by the time it's time for me to get them on out in the garden so I don't want to start my uh, tomatoes right now nor my brassicas right now I'm gonna start those right at around at the six week mark and so peppers definitely all my bell peppers all those we're gonna be starting those uh, today all right and so I do want to bring you guys along with me on that right there so also stay tuned guys because hey it is that time to start our seeds and hey we'll talk a little bit more about that um not you know we ain't gonna get into it right now but stay tuned for that video coming up on the seed starting okay um guys that is pretty much it i just wanted to take you all along with us just to kind of show you all what is going on here on the homo servant homestead and remember this is just pretty much up here at the top garden uh, i've not take you guys down there at the bottom garden it's not really much going on down there um but as time goes on we will take you all along with us and so guys i just want to say peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there and y'all stay motivated stay blessed and guys like i always say it's gardening season. It's coming up. Please, please get something in the ground. Plant something, guys. Okay? Plant something. I don't, it, it could be fruit trees. I want y'all to plant something. Okay? You may have shrubs in your yard and all that different kind of stuff. I know I said I'm going to close it up, but this is something I want to talk to you guys about is if you have property wherever even if you're not on that property right now at this moment if you have the money and you have the time go ahead buy some fruit trees plant on that property for when it is time for you to get to that property you will already have food established on that property instead of you trying to go there you already have the property just sitting down 
it's best now for you to plan something so whenever you do decide to go and live on that property you will already have fruit trees established there where you can already start even harvesting fruits okay so hey like i always say you may be planting trees for uh for beauty man look plant you a fruit tree you know you, when that fruit bear and you able to see all those red and all those different pretty fruits out there on that tree you're able to go out there and pick you, it's better you planting a fruit tree than just some shrubs out there where you can't pick nothing off of but more cleaning up for you to do in the fall time okay so remember that go ahead now is that time to even go ahead and get your fruit trees because a lot of the box stores out there they're bringing in those fruit trees right now and now when once you get them don't sit them down and wait till spring to plant them plant them right now so those roots can go ahead and get established in the ground so in springtime they will be ready to go off and having a real great start okay and don't forget to mulch uh those roots when you do plant those fruit trees all right and also even that stay tuned we're going to be uh taking y'all down there where the orchard is um we've just been putting trees in putting trees in and you know it's hey just a little bit more work and time here on the homestead putting stuff in in the ground but nonetheless that is it right there i just want to say thanks to each and every one of y'all for stopping by the humble servant homestead and as always peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there remember keep a smile on your face be happy be cheerful smile at your brothers and sisters because we never we never know what it is that they are going through at that moment guys just from your smile your joyfulness your happiness cheers them up and helps them to get through their day all right have a blessed one y'all